Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained. I am DM Bloodworth and today I'm going to be showing you a, uh, a game that I had purchased on a Kickstarter a little over a year ago. Uh, it's Iron Tides. It's a Viking themed strategy game. Um, you can currently get early access for it on Steam for about $15. Um, you know, I haven't played the game yet. I just uh, jumped in to make sure that it actually runs and uh, wasn't planning on this uh, video today uh, because, uh, you know, quite frankly, I had all, all but, you know, practically forgot about this game and I never actually got the codes for it, uh, you know, previously. So about a week ago, I contacted the, uh, the Kickstarter, um, you know, the Kickstarter company and... Uh, you know, inquired about the, you know, inquired about the codes, the access codes, and, and I just received them probably yesterday or the day before. So, um, so that's going to be a, you know, a quick look at, uh, you know, at Iron Tides. I haven't played it. Uh, I know there are several game modes. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look at least the, the campaign mode and see how that works. And, and this is a true, unscripted and unchained uh, presentation. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be experiencing the game the very first time and, uh, and maybe many of you will be as well um, while you watch. So I'm gonna bring it up. Uh, I'll do this now. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there's, uh, it's early access. They give you a little talk here, a small team at Crash Wave Games, uh, hard at work over the past two years. Uh, so they've been developing this game for the past two years. There's a campaign mode, a skirmish mode. So when you go to skirmish, you can select up to two pages worth of, or, or nearly two pages worth of skirmishes. Go back. Um, there's an editor. So you can actually create battles um, so you can name your battle and then you can select several options as to where it would be you create it I'm guessing and you can edit it further I have no I really don't know anything about that <coughs> we'll jump into campaign hopefully there'll be a tutorial there I'm just gonna check the audio and make sure all right so the music is down so I know sometimes what what I hear and what you get on your end are two totally different things. So we'll come out of options. Um, actually, let's see. Controls. So WSAD is your up, down, left, right. So very, very similar. And then cancel in action is alpha, zero, and the back, back quotation. Right back at new next character is the tab key. Um, previous character is the left bracket, and then zoom is uh, a Z. Okay, those are all default. So let's take a look at campaign. So new campaign. I'm gonna launch the campaign name. We will. Difficulty normal, hard, brutal, easy. All right, so you, you start with easy, normal, hard, brutal. For the tutorials, I like to do easy that way. All right, so um, get a reading. <coughs> I'd actually read it out loud, but my uh, <coughs> my asthma will prevent me from doing that. So your crew is in dire straits. After a night storm, the stamina is low and very few supplies remain. Use the left click or the WASD to move any key to continue. So 
See, we can scroll out and see, this is what they call fog of war. So outside of this range, I can't see anything. I have Freya and Fenric are, I guess, my two Vikings on the ship. Looks like I have room for up to four. I am hungry. The crew is getting hungry. If you let this continue, they'll lose health until they starve to death. Find food at the bottom and use the R click to eat it. Okay. Okay, so now I've recovered. There's a shipwreck here. Alright, so on the deck of the ship you spot the dead Vikings, a few small casks of smoked fish remain in the hold. Burn the bodies and take the fish for plus five. Okay. I'm hunger again, so I will eat. Oh, there's a pirate ship there in combat here. sure if I should. Uh, might as well. Alright, so each Viking has up to three fury points shown as yellow dots next to their health bars. Use these three to activate their abilities. You can see the bottom any continue. Alright, so I am going to I can do slash. I could do a command which is a range. I can do an avenging blow, which has a cooldown of one, and I can do Odin's judgment, which does, uh, it's pretty accurate, inflicts a death mark for three rounds, target takes 25% more damage, and it's a cooldown of, all right, so let's see. I have no more move points, I use them up, so. Looks like I have maybe, oh, he's level six. Let's try a simple slash. Yes! There's no cooldown for this. Okay. The other pirates are too far away for this Viking to reach them. Use the L, click or tab to select your other character, the hunter. She can shoot the enemies below. Okay, so. Huh. All right. Not quite sure if she can actually reach them. Range is from two to three. So one, two, three, so. She'd have to come to at least here. Mm. One, two, three. So he's three away. Mm. 
Cask of Mead. Oh, excellent. Recover 30 stamina. All Vikings heal 1 hunger level. Alright, I only have one cast though, so I'm gonna... Here's that, I'm gonna have to go this way. So I'm gonna shipwreck. To end this splintering remains of the ship you find a proud Valkyrie, bloodied from battle but still able to fight, she offers to join your crew. Accept the offer. Sure. Alright, we're hungry again. Destroy the outpost. Ingrid tells you her ship was ambushed by a band of pirates. She believes they're retreated back to their nearby outpost, dividing their plunder offer and set at the find their outpost. Ah! All right. Oh, there's their outpost. Okay. Everybody is maximum. <coughs> so I know Freya can hit. Out of out of deploy area. All right, enemy archers are standing behind some low obstacles. These obstacles block movement, but not ranged attacks. They I'll try attacking the enemy archers with your hunter. Okay. Killing an enemy always grants you an extra point of fury. In the right circumstances, this can be used to generate a deadly chain of attacks. Let's see if she can invalid target. Oh. Maybe she moves. She mm. moved to here. And now she can at least hit him once. That's it. So. Yeah. Spear thrust. And leap. Leap is a range, so two to three movements leaping over an obstacle in the way. The other pirates are behind a high obstacle. These obstacles, uh, the obstacles block the line of sight completely 
and the sight path uh, so it crosses high obstacles become blocked uh, it's uh, can't attack them mm. fast already my turn. Made arms and armor. Obviously inferior to Viking weaponry, but still worth taking. Value is 80 pack silver. And then silverware. Perfect value for the foreigner. Pack for part. Easy uh, portability. Awesome. So I'm going to take out this. So it says the quest is complete. So you have won a worthy victory today, but where we'll venture further, we should return to North Haven to get more supplies. Continue to the exit. So here you can sell your loot, you can buy supplies, and you're ready to head back to sea. Uh, you go back to your longboat. So so here we have the Great Hall, which is still locked. Uh, unlocked by completing the Main Quest 2. We have the Docks, which is unlocked by Main Quest 3. We have the Market. So let's go to the Market. Inventory. So we right click to sell. So basically, this is and we should buy some food. It covers <coughs> let's see. So we have food. We should buy. We have stamina um, recovery from mead. Those are 200 each. I have 600. Uh, I haven't used what I had already. So, sunstone. We build all hidden tiles up to a range of four. It's 150. A healing brew. All Vikings regen for three rounds in the next battle. Plus five points per turn. That's worth three hundred. Okay. Well, we're certainly going to stock up on food. Do 
food is uh, 50. Free food. <coughs> oh, should choose your destination. Our glory is nine hundred. Let's see if we can. Let's see. Ah, so here's the characters. So, recolor, rename, so you can rename your characters. It shows their, uh, so a hunter, level 6. It shows their basic uh, abilities. Auto assign points. I have no available skill points. Next is Fenner. It's a piece of Vanguard. It's kind of like a, a tank. <coughs> Shows his abilities. You can rename him, dismiss him, exile him. I don't know exactly what that means. And Ingrid is my Valkyrie. She's level 1. So she's actually fairly low level and she doesn't have as many skills unlocked as those two do. So she should actually increase skill level, or levels. So now I can choose where to go. So the main quest one, scavengers. Pirate scavengers is quickly. So I guess I'm here. Elder runes is two. I don't know if I just did scavengers or not. Side quest is rooms. Alright, this is the next, this is the main quest one. Alright, we'll do that real fast. in range, so let's... Uh. Hopefully I can kill him. Uh. <coughs> Good. And... Uh. Let's move here. I shouldn't get one attack on him.
first.
so before the next voyage, you'll need to recruit another Viking from the Great Hall. Even Vikings of the same class may start with different abilities. So make sure to take a look at their attributes before making your choice. Alright, so now I can... So this is a Wolf Priestess. And I can take another Valkyrie. I'm going to go with something new. So it costs 500, 500 glory to recruit. Alright, now my ship is full. Come over here. And I'm going to sell these things. <coughs> Keep my food up. Let me get one more food. I don't know why the food isn't uh Alright, before I, you know, go run another, it looks like this, so I've unlocked this, uh, docks, main quest 3, docks. Yeah, let's, let's walk you through, um, That's still main quest too. So it's gonna be a little while. So I don't want I don't want to run this too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, you know shut this down for now and uh, close this out. Let's see what this does here. I'm gonna to return to title screen. So that's a really quick look at uh, at uh, Iron Tides. You know, a little bit different than uh, the kind of game that I generally play, uh, but it's a you know it's always good uh, good variety. Uh, you can see there's there's some you know RPG elements and and the fact that you're you're kind of building up your characters and and putting together a uh, you know a crew of uh, four different types of characters and uh, you know turn based turn-based combat system it seems to be fairly I'm playing it on easy mode so it's so far it seems to be fairly easy um, the next time I run through it I'll you know obviously increase the difficulty level but uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this look at uh, Iron Tides uh, a Viking strategy game and uh, if you're not a, uh, a subscriber please uh, feel free to subscribe leave any comments of uh, games you'd like to me to take a look at uh, if you have a car you know currently have a kickstarter or you know of a kickstarter that uh, might fit within uh, might fit within my uh, interest and you know like for me to show uh, I you know welcome you know any uh, any posts or comments that will direct me towards those kind of games and if you are a subscriber make sure that you hit the uh, bell so that you'll get alerts as to when I do uh, future uploads. In the meantime, uh, in, enjoy uh, enjoy the week. Uh, got a holiday week uh, coming up uh, here in the United States, and uh, you know I look forward to seeing you on the uh, gaming screen sometime in the near future.